Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this time I'm revising my zoom camera. If you've seen my previous video, I took a Mobius camera, which I I love these cameras a lot. They're really tiny, as you can see, they're about the size of a matchbox. Inexpensive, and they shoot quality uh, video just as good as a GoPro. Anyhow, I'm redoing the zoom camera to be way more compact. What I did before was take a regular camera and put a magnified zoom lens on the design for cell phones you can see that video here and that worked pretty well went through several games with that it was great the problem with that setup was lining up the magnifier with the camera lens sometimes it would um, come out of alignment during gameplay also it was a bit bulky and it required the way I had it set up two mounts to mount to a piece of rails so the solution I came up with through some research um, internet post reading just general knowledge of how lighting and all that stuff works uh, is to replace the lens instead of adding stuff to the lens so we would take out our Mobius uh, this is a standard lens or a wide angle lens doesn't really matter get rid of that and then we would replace with one of these CCTV uh, lenses designed for small closed circuit TV cameras Luckily these two examples here fit the same thread pattern as the original Mobius lens and I'll put that down there what the thread pattern is. So basically what you would do is you remove your standard lens and you would put in one of these closed circuit TV lenses. These lenses are different because they are very narrow where a standard lens or a wide angle lens on the Mobius is very wide to capture as much as possible which makes sense for a helmet camera but for a zoom camera you want it to be real narrow so something like this 12 millimeter lens or the 16 millimeter lens get a really narrow field of view and they focus all your resolution in one spot and in a sense turn your camera into a zoom camera so that's one step of it is replacing the lens another thing is this IR filter here's a big version of it for a professional handheld camera and here's a small version of it that you could get on eBay from China. The reason this is necessary is, as you'll see when we take this original lens out, there's a little piece of glass, much like this, on the back of it. And that's the IR blocker. When light comes in uh, to the camera, it's coming in with infrared light, which will turn your shot completely purple. What this does is block out that part of the light and gives you that normal look and feel that you're used to, that your eye sees and that you'd want to have when shooting video. So those are the three components really, it's your camera, replacement lens and the IR blocker. And I'll put links to all these things in the description. So let's get going and I'll explain the further as we go. Um, all you need to do is open up your camera, use a tiny Phillips screwdriver. Now, I've already done this, but these are the two screw holes you take the screws out and you get these tiny little screws. Make sure you hang on to those because they're pretty easy to lose. Once you get those out, go ahead pop the front off and then take the back off and there's your camera split in two. Next you want to take out your, um, basically the lens unit and all is just sitting in there. It gets jammed between the two pieces so just pulling up on it will disconnect it and there you go. So what you want to do is take out the original Mobius lens. There's a tiny Allen screw here that you put a tiny Allen wrench into and turn counterclockwise as you would. Once you loosen that you'll see the lens begins to move. So take that and unscrew it. One thing you might want to do in case you're worried about screwing this up before you touch, before you start unscrewing the lens is mark a line on the camera and on the lens threads so if you want to put it back you can put it right back where it was without having to refocus it again. That's really the toughest part is focusing this thing. So unscrew that Save that, and you can see there's the IR filter on the back of this lens. Unfortunately, it's glued in, so you can't take it out without breaking into a thousand pieces. So just ignore it and save that for whatever other use you might have. So, next, what you would do is take your lens, take one of these pieces here, 
and these are very inexpensive and you want to glue it on like so this one I've already done you just run a little bit of glue right around the rim here just enough to hold it in place this is not going to go through a lot of abuse and shock it's going to be internally hidden so it doesn't need to be rock solid just put a few dabs on the edge here don't get it on the threads so you don't permanently screw in your lens where you can't get it back out unless you're trying to do that get on here and then gently place one of these on top make sure you keep your the lens clean your hands clean you don't touch it try to touch as little as possible because once you trap that dirt in there or you get a smear on there that could affect your image once you get the IR filter attached to the back of your lens simply screw it back in and this is really where the tough part is is focusing the thing uh, if you could somehow set up this camera to have give you a visual uh, live picture then it's pretty simple because you would just turn it until you get it to the right spot and then lock down the Allen right Allen screw but that's not necessary what you could do is simply hit record as you're doing this and maybe turn it one full turn every time see I, I have a hash mark here and here on the camera so I could kind of keep track of where I am in the rotation so just keep turning it and recording it and sort of make either visual or audio notes to yourself as you go and once we, once you figure that out watching the video back then you will sort of know where the the focus is it's a little uh, kind of primitive but it does work so I've already focused this one all I have to do is match up these hash marks that gives me focus right there of course that took took probably about an half an hour 45 minutes to focus it but you only need to do this once so it's a time well spent so once you lock it down then you just reassemble the, the camera you can put this lens all the way back here to give you the really small footprint and then you put your screws back in and you got the probably the smallest zoom camera you could have it shoots a beautiful video really focused really sharp and this whole project can be done for a little over a hundred bucks compared to something like a GoPro which just the camera alone will cost you three hundred four hundred dollars and I think this same process actually applies to a contour or a GoPro those lenses are a little tougher to get to because they're internal and behind um, and glued in on some of them as I understand but on the Mobius it's very simple crack it open and undo that one Allen screw and you're done you back out the lens you put in a new one you focus it make sure you add the IR filter on the back you'll know if you have or you haven't because your video will look like a big purple fuzz but once you're done you'll have beautiful zoom shots to get those um, scope views or to confirm your kills so hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one